Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Beyond the Union Conversion at AutoCAX. Today, I'm going to create a, a calculation to calculate the volume, mass, and weight of a box. So once you finish, it's going to be look like uh, something like this. Let's go, let's go to the website. So you head to v2.dongwen.com. That's uh, the website to create the uh, calculations. Um, when you come to the website, uh, it's a simple calculator for you to do one-step calculations uh, as an alternative for a regular calculator. Mm, but that's not what, what I want to talk about today. Not today, um, I'm going to show the multiple um, step calculation that uh, I just talked about. So you hit, you click on this button multiple times to add rows uh, as in, that we might need. And uh, to make it easier, we can put a picture there. And normally, this is the picture that I need, um, but I can also insert that into the text together as a, a companion. So we, I use this slip uh, up in Windows, and then this allowed me to grab a, a part of the screen. And then I can just see, and then go back to the AutoCAX. And then you see there, there is a button to insert images. And there are three ways to add images. Or here, I just I can just copy and paste, Ctrl V. Uh, we can also upload image files by clicking on here. And let's just uh, as an example. see. So this is, a, you can also drag and drop from your local drive. Uh, but this, of course, this image is not related to our pro, uh, this calculation. So this is just to show you how to insert. Right? So you can drag and drop the pictures uh, to change the position. And also you can just uh, click on this uh, options button and then get rid of it. So, Let's uh, back to get back to our volume calculation. To calculate the volume of a box, we need to know the length, width, and the thickness or height. So length, width, height. Uh, so we get a V. Let's start with the calculation without the units. Let's say that we put some. Let's put some simple numbers. Ninety. Uh, let's say ten. So that we know the result is correct or not. Eight, eight, let's say t equals one. Right, so v equals L times w times t. So as you can see, now the result is correct. This is about multiplication of all these three numbers. But what if we, if we want to add the units? Uh, because in real life, this box had all these lengths they came with units. Right? So let's say that we use uh, inches, 10 inches. Uh, let's, let's, use all, let's all start with inches first. Uh, you can either select from the drop down list, or once you have one, then you can copy and paste. So now, if we change this, um, if we change this to be um, volume unit, we, we need to change that. So we select IN and then click on it. It will show all the units we will, that include the IN within. So you can see there is a bug here. So I need to select it again. And then provided you need to be in the same category as before. Right? But anyway, we select the units for volume. So what if we can um, change the length, the input of length to be 12? So the results change automatically. 
Okay. So the, for the reason that uh, I, my calculations on auto cascade is called, uh, we call this as beyond, beyond the union conversion, is actually uh, for inputs like L, uh, it's 12 inches, 12 inches. If we want to see that in unit in feet, we switch that units into feet. You can see like it's automatic change to one feet, one foot. If you, you can change back to inches, it's still 12 inches. Or you can change to other units that are included over here, meters or millimeters. Same thing for the other input, right? But you can, as you can see now, there are different units. There are a lot of the same units, but they can calculate together. The result, the result is still correct, but because if you change that back to inches, you can see that's still the correct result. Even if I change this to be feet, this stay as it is. But on tier, if I want to change it to be two feet, you can see the result changed to be 192 inches, uh, cube, cubic inches automatically. How do you know how do we know that it's correct? Let's change it back to the one. So it's back to previous 96 inches cubic. The same thing for here. If we change that to a from eight to twelve. So that's actually, let's make it easy to understand. 12 by 12, so that's 144, right? So the result is correct. But we can show this in feet if we want. So as you can see, like if, we, if I only change the units on the input quantities, it doesn't affect the result. Only if I change the input value, then the result will change accordingly. And the same thing for the output. If I change that to be could be fit, again, it's still the same result, the same quantity, but it just to show as different measurements. You can even show this in all the other units over here in the same category. Okay, so that's how we calculate the value. And if you wanted to change, calculate the mass, we need to have rho uh, density, which you must use R for rho. Uh, and this, uh, assuming this is for steel, just in the density for steel. Uh, I don't know how, how much is that uh, yeah, on top of my head um, in, in period, but I, don't, I do know that uh, in metrics. So it's 7800 kg per cubic meters. So now we have mass, m for mass equals r times v. So before we provide the correct units, we don't know whether this is correct or not. Right? So we need to give it a proper mass units, let's say we use pound. There is a, we need to talk a little bit about this pound. Um, as you can see over here, when I enter LB, it shows like okay, it's included in both um, under mass category and the force category. Um, so it is a little bit confusing in North American or the English metric system, English unit system that uh, Pound in our real life can be used um, for mass and for force. So sometimes that's confusing. So in order for the calculation to, to be correct, uh, in AutoCAD, we have used LBM for mass and LB for force. So in this case, we're doing math, we're calculating mass. So we need to select math LBM, or I can enter math LBM. So But in order to make sure that the result is correct, um, we need to check. We can switch the units into the same category. So you can see like that is actually um, the, the mass of uh, the mass in kilogram. 
But now, if I change that to be back to pound, pound mass, it's uh, 81. Right? I change back to kilogram grams. So that's uh, how we change calculate mass. You want to change the calculate weight, we need to have the gravity acceleration, which in metric is 9.81. And the meters per second cubic uh, square, sorry, meters per second acceleration. So here we need to change. Okay, so the gravity and the weight is g equal m times g. So again, we need to give it the proper, let's say, pound for force. Sometimes. So as you can see, like um, no matter is for input or for output calculated result, I can select whatever units we need. And when you select the change unit, the result will be updated automatically. So that's uh, how you create a calculation like this. Uh, of, of course, you, um, you can enter some descriptions as loads. Let's say then with signals. Morning. Something like that, next is MS. Intensity, gravity, and the mass and weight. And once you have done, once you done the once you finish the calculation, you can save it. As in click on this save the save button. Mm. Let's just do it. Now you can see like the URL changed from the previous v2.domain.com to this under calculations and uh, it comes with a unique um, ID number for this, for this specific calculation, which allow you to, sh to share it as a sub unique calculation. For example, if I copy that and then if I go to, if I go to, my other browser, and I can just end, paste that to, so you can see like this, the same calculation. And then people can, you or somebody else can do use the same calculator to do some, to do similar calculations with different input numbers. So I just change to 10. Right. So, it becomes a shareable calculation. Right? But as you can see, this the title of the default calculation is a new cac. So which is not very user friendly and it's hard to be recognized. So uh, if you want, you can click on this to add some, to make it a little bit more specific. So let's say this one is a, a volume mass and weight calculation of a box. And then if you save it, okay, let's, let's be, um, don't save it for now, let's just uh, see what's going on. Um, as over here on uh, this, uh, the slogan of my app is called search, create, store, and share unit conversion unified calculations. So basically means that calculations done in this web on this website or this old text can are searchable. So for now, all the calculations can be searched by the title, which is um, the default. For now, the one that we just created is the default title is new new cac. Let's just uh, say search for new. So as you can see, like the new, this is the only one that uh, 
we have the same, this kind of picture. So we know this is the one that we just created. As you can see, updated uh, date is uh, 2022, October the 7th. So if we go here, it's LUCAC, right? So it's, this is searched by LUCAC, but as you can see, if we click on new again, and search new again, there are multiple new CACs, right? which is, doesn't make sense. So we want it to be more identifiable because that's why we can replay relaying, right? Okay, so now over here, where I changed the title, but I have not yet saved it. So if I save this again, and it tells me that we need to confirm into overwrite, so that's okay. Now, if I say, search for new, and let's just to refresh the page. The search for new, so as you can see, it doesn't show up the previous calculation with that um, red plate because it changed to be, let's say, uh, we know that uh, in the title there is a wait. So you can wait. And you can see that because that one comes with a picture, right? So this picture is shown with this um, result, in this result. So we know this is the one, right? So now it shows the title is volume, mass, weight of a box calculation. So that's, um, that's it. And you can share this with your friends, right? So uh, again, all the union, all the calculations is created over here. If you save it, once you save it, um, it becomes searchable. It's stored in the cloud and it becomes searchable and shareable. So I hope you like it. If you do, click the like button and um, I hope that you can subscribe to my channel and um, share with your friends. That will help me to do more and better calculations like this. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Bye.